Hey guys, my name is Gianni and today I'm going to show you how to open your garage with your smartphone. Okay, so basically it doesn't consist of much, but all you need is your garage remote, a Wi-Fi module, a micro USB cable, some jumper cables to solder on, and a cheap servo. Now, there is two options for you, so in terms of like mounting everything, uh, the first one is you can download uh, the 3D design that I've made that you can 3D print which is nice and clean or if you don't have a 3d printer you can just use any box pretty firm usually your phone box is pretty good um, but yeah you would have to mount the servo and put your remote here and get some polyester to hold the whole thing up but that should do the job so the way this works is uh, this device here connects to your Wi-Fi at home and also controls the servo itself so so you can actually you know push the button um, and the other thing on the other side here on your smartphone you would have an app which is totally free by the way um, which obviously pushes your button so as soon as you push it it pushes that server okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is get the Wi-Fi module ready so you want to download uh, the software called Arduino so you just go through this one, click on Windows Installer, scroll down and press Just Download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. For me, I already got it installed, but yeah, go ahead and do the full install. Once you've downloaded and installed Arduino, so go ahead and open the um, Arduino script that I've put in the description. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is um, go into uh, preferences in here, and I left this link in the description as well. You're going to want to paste it in this section right here. So go ahead and do that and press OK. After you've put the link in the preferences, once again click OK. Um, what we need to do now is go in the tool section scroll down to board select board manager we're gonna need to install the resources for the Wi-Fi module so the software can talk to the um, motherboard so once that's done you're gonna want to search here sorry give me a minute there we go so ESP 8266 so you're gonna want to install um this one right here and you want to install the version 2.4.2 by selecting it in here so yeah just go ahead and install it okay so once that's done and installed go ahead and close this now we're gonna have to uh, get the Wi-Fi module ready for flashing so we gotta get all the settings ready so I've just put a picture on the screen right now you want to copy all these settings now when that's done uh, go ahead and put Arduino aside and you're gonna have to download this file that I've put again in the description um, go ahead and unzip it so extract okay so once you got this uh, go ahead and open it now you're gonna see uh, two folders so go ahead and click on libraries you're gonna to want to copy all these folders here so once you've copied that uh, go in your documents 
and you will see um, the Arduino folder and again the same folders you've just seen before so you want to go ahead and click libraries and paste all these folders right in here now go back to the main in here as well and do the same for the tube section so copy this and paste it in here and once you've done everything on a computer uh, go to your smartphone um, go on the play store or app store from iPhones uh, search for blink with a Y which is this one right here so obviously it's already installed here so you might you're gonna want to install it and once it's installed go ahead and create an account so once you've created your account uh, go ahead and log in So once you've logged in, for me I already have my setup, but once you've logged in you want to click the wheel just here. And from here click on devices and create a new device. So give it a name you want it to be. And in here you will see you have the authorization token, so you're going to want to email that to yourself. And do the same settings as here and then create once you've got your authorization key from your emails go ahead and paste it in this section here between the quotes and do the same for your Wi-Fi settings so your Wi-Fi name in here and your password just there once you've added all your Wi-Fi password and the authorization key to the uh, Arduino code go ahead and plug the Wi-Fi chip in And from here you want to double check that your tools select the port once you've selected the port go ahead and press upload which is this one and at the bottom here you will see working on it you also gotta make sure all the settings has been put in properly but it should start uploading in any time from now There we go. When the upload is done, go ahead and unplug everything and you're now done with the computer. So with the Wi-Fi chip, what are you going to want to do? Uh, you're going to want to solder three wires onto these three ports. So the positive is going to go to the three volts, of course. Uh, you're going to want to ground to the G and you're going to want a third cable going to the D8 so you just solder those three together once you've soldered the three wires together you're going to want to take your servo back here and connect it together so the connection is fairly easy so you just want to make sure that um, the red is your positive which is the 3 volt one from here the brown is the ground, which is the G, and the orange one, yellow looking, is the D8, which is what makes the Wi-Fi talk to the server. From here, go ahead and take your box, or the 3D printed model, and you're going to need a piece of uh, polyester to keep everything together, so the remote will be nicely tucked in in here and won't move when that pushes down of course right here you're gonna have to cut a hole or two to make the servo fit but be careful not to go too big because you're gonna have to screw these two here 
but yeah definitely recommend if you have a mate that can 3d print something for you to do it that way but that's definitely working as well no issues all right once this is all sorted go on your smartphone and from here we're gonna create the actual button that's gonna control everything so you want to go back to the main menu here so I'm just gonna delete this sorry give me a sec there we go much better so you want to click the plus and you can select different kind of buttons between the style if you want to name on it or whatever uh, I just decided to go with this one then you click on the button itself and you can name it so you can just say whatever there we go now I don't know if you remember but I mentioned to you the v3 port before so you're gonna have to go into virtual so virtual port and select number three v3 so from here that's the rotation adjustments of the server so you decide how how down you want it to go and back so let's say I want to go 0 to 100 it will go from 0 down to 100 and come back when that's done just go back to the main settings or the main screen sorry click the play button Go ahead and plug your brand new garage opener. Now you will see that to confirm that the Wi-Fi is connected, the servo is going to move. There we go. So now from here, what do you want to do to put it back in a normal position? You just want to quickly click and it will go back to the normal position. Now you're probably going to ask why I'm not using this one. It's because I have one already set up here so I'm using that one instead but once that's done you're done all right all done so yeah please like and subscribe if you think this was a handy video and or a good project and yeah stay tuned for some more content cheers